We all know it's good to have a positive attitude, but being negative can be useful too, especially when it comes to blood types. The type of blood a human has is determined by their genetics and identified by the different types of proteins, called antigens and corresponding antibodies in their blood. The ABO system looks at the presence or absence of A and B antigens, determining their blood group, either A, B, AB, or O. But did you know that the ABO system is just one out of more than 30 ways that humans identify a person's blood type? The next most important system is the RH system, which used to be called rhesus. It tells them if blood is negative or positive. But how can blood be negative or positive? It's all about the red blood cells and those antigens again. The RH system looks at whether you have a D antigen. If you do, your blood is RHD positive. If you don't, your blood is RHD negative. I get it. So the ABO is the letter part of your blood type and RH is the positive or negative part. Humans get into real trouble if they're given the wrong type of blood as their immune system attacks anything it recognizes as alien. If a human is RHD negative, they don't have the D antigen in their blood and their body will reject RHD positive blood, which contains D antigens. But what about RHD negative blood? Who could receive that? RHD negative blood can be given to both RHD positive and RHD negative patients. So, the blood type O negative is extra important because it can be given to all other ABO types and to both RHD negative and RHD positive patients. It's universal. Hey, sometimes it's good to be negative. So remember folks, whatever blood type you are, there's someone out there who needs you.